Hello everybody, Retro Beard here again. It's Sunday afternoon, 4pm UK time, GMT time. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend and everything has um, gone well for you and it's all been a nice time. Um, I did my Retro Ramblings video yesterday and that went really well and it feels like I haven't been here for ages so it's quite nice to be back. It's funny how just one day off can feel like a lifetime. And um, I hope anybody who watched that video enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment. It all helps and I appreciate it very much. So, with that said, we will press on and see what we're going to do today. I'm back on the Super Console X, of course, because we've, I would say we've not even close to have um, drained this bad, bad boy um, of games. We've got plenty more to see and do. So, let's have a look. Of course, I'm always up for requests. In absence of requests, I just do what I want to do. So it's all good. Amstrad CPC. Had a bit of a mixed bag on this with, the, with terms of controls. My turn fascinating home computer because I never had one of these so you never had something and you've seen it at other places you always have a certain curiosity do you I remember the graphics ranged from Sinclair spectrum quality up to some of the best 8-bit visuals around really oh, action force if that works. Of course, if the controls aren't compatible, then I cannot play them. But, you know, it's always worth a try. Action Force was what the Americans call G.I. Joe. We renamed it like we did a lot of things. And this is hopefully not just a specy port, because if it is a specy port, it will not be impressive. At least graphically not. But if the controls don't work, and sadly it's for nothing. Hello there Parsons, how are you doing? Uh, it don't seem to be able with the controls, what about a key virtual keyboard? No, I can't get a virtual keyboard up. So this one is DOA. Oh, what's that? Oh there is a keyboard. Is it going to work after all? Yeah, just let me play the game, dude. Mm. Oh, I need a fire button. Oh, the analog stick sort of works. Wow, this is appalling. This is not a um, great example of the... Um, Hello Max Parsons, how you doing? Yes. This is um that's quite a nice parallax scrolling type effect, isn't it? But other than that, the game's a state. What? <laughs> I'm not um, really feeling the love for this game right now. It's like a poor man's silkworm. Oh. Why have I gone so bright? Let's turn the brightness down and might. There we go. This um, this helicopter is having delusions of grandeur. It thinks it's Airwolf. Why is my gun not working? Did I have a limited amount of ammunition? Have I just squandered it? So now I'm defenseless. Okay, ramming speed. Well, that game was a pile of junk. Let's abandon it. So far, I'm not impressed with the um, Amstrad CPC. This was supposed to be the premiere experience, wasn't it? Even better than the Commodore 64 or Pinball, oh god no. Advanced Tactical Fighter, we don't want a flight simulator. 
African trial? What about African trial? African trial simulator. Oh, it's in a foreign language. PlayStation or Xbox or Game Boy. Let's have a look. I'm always a man of the people. We'll have a look in a minute. Parsons knows technology. Let's see what. So we've got the PlayStation, Xbox, or Game Boy. I don't, we've got no Xbox on here, but we've got PlayStation One, fifty-nine games. Where are you? Where are you? Game Boy Color, 548 games. Game Boy Advance, 1081 games. Game Boy, 493 games. So, you can take your pick there. And you, and you wanted the Curse of Sherwood. Tell you what I'll do. Go to all games. We can look at all the different ports. All games. Um, wrong button. Right button. The Curse of Sherwood. This is where I try and spell. The... Curse. This is hard work of Jawood. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. What? Did I do something wrong? Oh. <sighs> How do I... Oh. No! The Curse of Sherwood. I'll have to do it again, I'm sorry. It helps if you spell it right. But... This isn't the most, um... Convenient. Curse. Yeah. I failed my spelling test. Not fair. Sherwood. This thing's not um, dyslexia friendly. And I'm not even dyslexic. Okay. Now, we've got Spectrum, Amstrad, and C64. We've got, we could do a battle of the ports. But of course, we must factor in that some of them might not be controllable at the minute. Let's try the Amstrad version. Let's see what this has got. 128k, how do they handle such power? Look at these graphics. Joystick. Please control. What the heck does that say? What did it saying? Two joystick. On the playing. What the heck? I don't think I'm even controlling this. Is this a demo and I just think I'm controlling it? I'm controlling it. Now what am I doing? Yeah. I, 
it's even better when you can control the game. So two is joystick. So I'm on there. So how do I? Zero is start game. Where's zero the hero? Here I am. I'm Friar Tuck. I'm playing it. Look, I'm Friar Tuck. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Friar Tuck with his staff that fires knives. I don't think that was in it. I've done it. This game is so amazing. I want this HD remastered. Oh, it's Baldrick. You have no power here. Are you happy now, Parsons knows technology? That I'm living the dream of Robin of Sherwood. Robin, the hooded man. This game's amazing. Black like Call of Duty. Oh, what happened? I have to an SAS run. Oh. You better walk away. I'm master at throwing knives. Fear my firepower. Go, 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 go. What's that green thing? I've got a green thing. Maid Marion. Oh, Maid Marion's not attacking me. That's not Maid Marion. Right, it took a lot of combat in this world, hasn't it? I'll have that. I've got an upgrade. I don't know what that is, but it looks a bit dodgy to me, but I'll have it. Club. If this hasn't aged, God help us. God, now I've got to read this horrible keyboard. Why is my dangly donk not moving? Please move. I want to move the cursor. Oh, here we go. Space. The final frontier. Hi, Cauldron. How you doing? It's okay. Life has a habit of keeping us busy. We're playing the amazing Curse of Sherwood on the Amstrad CPC. We've done a Battle of the Ports, the Spectrum and the um, Amstrad and the Commodore 6040, which has got the best of this amazing game. You've timed it well, because this is still the first one we're trying. It's just a, a graphical showpiece. You sound like a real expert. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. I thought I did that already. God, this is annoying. Things I do. Here we go. Yes. We've managed to get some controls working thanks to Parsons helping me a little bit in this Amstrad CPC game. I mean, look at these graphics. Why did anybody need an NES or a Master System when they could be playing this? I'd argue this is better than uh, most 32-bit computers for graphics. Look, it's beautiful. The colours, the sprites. Crazy Carranza, how you doing? Long time no see. Yeah! Oh, why has Friar Tuck got so much violence? And why has Friar Tuck got green hair? Wow, I'm good at this. Oh, the analog's working now. The, um, the, the normal's working. The D-pad. We're living the dream. Yeah. You better walk away. It's too fast on his feet. Yeah, I wonder which would be the best port, because playability is factored in, not just graphics. I'm really good at this game, aren't I? 
I like colour bleed. Oh. oh no, not all three again. That is just harsh. Going in for an SAS charge. Black the black Oh you beggar. Oh. You've failed. I've not failed. It's impossible. Okay, we're in. <laughs> I'd say this is a HD port. It's beautiful. These sound effects. Doo -doo. This is like an early RPG, isn't it? Look at the colours. Oh, I'm... I'm sure if I play it for a few years, I'll get good at it. Oh. Wow. Respawning enemies, what more do you need? This is like ultimate shootout. It's like a John Woo film. Look at the shootout. It's like John Wick. Ah, new lands. I've got my green thing. Maid Marion, I want a rematch, brother or sister. Damn it. Reload, 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 reload. Ah! Maid Marion's a beast. Got her. Give me your weapons. I've got a club now. New lands. Come on, knights. Yes, one down. He's after me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me, knight. Oh, I took him down with me. A hut. I'm in new lands. Oh wow, isometric graphics. God, look at the 3D graphics. This must have had one heck of a polygon engine to do this. Wow. I like blunt force trauma. Look at these graphics. What are I doing in this house? What's the point of this place? Is this house just... Visual, it's got no practical purpose. And onwards we go. Oh, I've reached the end of the lands. Is my reward going that going all the way back? Come on. Uh. Crazy fools. Oh Run away. Uh would oh down, down, down. Die, die, die. Darn it, I've not got them. Well, should we try another port now? I think I've got about as good. Um, yeah, I like, I like, you know, a bit of blunt force trauma. It, it goes through plate armor. That way, like you crack the egg inside. Oh, I thought it was an RPG. Commodore 64. Please control and don't bodge all this up. Maybe the Commodore 64 is an enhanced port. Because the Commodore 64 some, with some lovely graphics. <sighs> Come on, load up. I haven't got all day. I'm just putting the cassette in. Wow, look at this. Music. What is this technological music? Um, oh, and I have to do something now. I don't want to do anything. Press return to exit. Have I done something wrong? Loading the game up is a puzzle. Oh! I don't want to do cheats, I just want to play the game.
Mm, I was a spectrum man. Why well, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Any of the buttons do anything? So how do you get off this? Um, if I was a Commodore 64 person, what would I do? Press F1, maybe? Return? Uh, help! That button? Yay! They might help me, but I'm playing it vanilla. If I can even load the flipping game up anyway. Return, delete, clear, maybe? Restart? And that means one. Or not. Shall I try a reboot? Maybe I did something wrong. This will kind of kill the Battle of the Ports if we can only play one version of the darn game, won't it? And I hope that's not the screenshot of the game. Because that sucked. Press play on tape. Okay, I'll, I'll just done that, okay. Searching, found Curse of Sherwood. <laughs> Here we go, I'll try and read. Curse crack. Yeah, it's like an Amiga um, crack game, isn't it? You're right, you're right past the docks and hacking by the overkiller. This release includes a map optimised for the C64 version. Oh, this, you couldn't play this if you were epileptic, could you? Visit our monastery at hokutoforce.com Wow, its own website. Brilliant, but how the heck do you play the game? Yeah, I don't care. Let's just play the game. Press Plus. I'll try plus. Unless anyone's got a better suggestion. There may be trouble ahead. So I'll try plus again then. It ain't looking good, is it? I might have to give up and go straight to the Spectrum port. This is such an annoyance. Or minus. I guess I could try pressing everything. What I would have done back in the day. Okay, I officially give up. The Commodore 64 is last because it refuses to work. The CPC beats it. Spectrum, I've not had much joy with getting Spectrum games to control, so it may be a CPC automatic victory. Whoops. Um... Please, beloved Spectrum, work. <gasps> I'm controlling a Spectrum game. It must be my birthday. Now this, look at that lovely colour bleed. That's what we're talking about. Or colour clash, as we used to call it. Listen to those sound effects. So, okay. For now, we know that um, the Spectrum is losing on graphics and sound. But maybe it will win for playability. It's a full fat version of the game. Oh, God! <laughs> Beloved Colour Clash. It's hard to see the arrows because of the Colour Clash. Look! They were all yellow. 
got a shield. My shield will protect me. Oh, well, mate, Marion's a cardinal in this one. I will take your scepter, my lord. Well, the Spectrum one suffers absolutely nothing on its playability side so far. This is um, a full 300 FPS. And the Knights are skeletons on this version. Oh. I've played this before. It, the house is better graphics on the Spectrum version. Oh, I want to go inside the house and see what it looks like. I'm going back for more. I'm just happy we've actually got a Spectrum game working and being controlled. I am so happy. Yeah. Which is a good thing because these games are so blooming hard. I'd say it controls better than the Amstrad version. Graphically and sound wise it's worse, but it controls better. So the question is what's more important, playability or graphics and sound? We might need a, um, a vote on this. Yeah, it's your fault. The diapers of you. Jinx me. I will cross the bridge. Some, some of these graphics are better. I think those water graphics are a lot clearer. I'd say the spectrum graphics are clearer. That makes any sense. More defined. This might be a better version, and it's not just because I've got Spectrum bias. How you doing, the twin guys? You alright? You'll not hunt me. Or you will. Oh, man, these guys are so annoying. That's what I'm talking about. Come on! <clears throat> oh, I want to go in the house! Oh, I'm going. I want to see what the graphics are like in the house, because... Look at that. Okay, perfect. This is my house. Beautiful. Look at these 3D graphics. Robin Hood. Oh, the enemies don't respawn. That's good. New lands. A whole new land. Don't you dare try and kill me. What's this? Beat me up, Scotty. Yeah, we're, we're, um, we're living the dream. This is a lot better playability than the CPC version. It's, it's a lot better. I'd hate to say it, but I prefer this version. Thank you, Cardinal. I needed that. Cardinal, can't we just be friends? Ah, oh, you goit. I thought they were like stone circles, but yeah, magic mushroom works as well. So, um, I know we, I because know you're not playing it, it's hard to entirely guess. Oh, dragon, look at the dragon. He's better than Smog. But yeah, um, I would say the Sinclair Spectrum version is, is a lot better. So I don't know if we all agree. It's much better. And look how colourful it is. It's quite a technical masterpiece. It's beautiful. And the graphics are a lot more clearer, so I prefer the Spectrum. The Commodore, unfortunately, wouldn't behave, so we can't include that. So the best, this, this brief battle of the ports is over. What next? Does anybody have any requests? It's an awesome game. I mean, I've played it in the past, but I've forgotten about it. Thanks, Parsons. Yep, that's true. If anybody has any requests for anything else, I will happily... Um, 
happily do that. These Battle of the Ports are great. Yeah, I'm glad we all agree. The Specky was the great console or computer. Conquer. I don't think this bad boy's got Conquer on it, my friend. And so, besides, Conquer wasn't on anything else, was it? <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> I think we know the Xbox version of Conquer wins. What about um, a request for a Battle of the Ports of a game that's actually on more than one system? Moonwalker! <laughs> I'll see if Moonwalker's on it. If it's not, it's a disgrace. What am I doing? We can have a look. Moonwalker. Hopefully I'll spell it right this time and not make a twit out of myself. Moonwalker. That's sounding promising. Oh wow, look at this. We've got some serious ports here. Mame. We'll leave Mame for now because obviously Mame is the um, going to be the best. Master System. Let's see what the master system's offering of Moonwalker was. Hopefully it's got some speech like Look at that. It's like a photograph. How do we start this? Wow. Those graphics. Noble Master System, please do this game justice and don't drive me insane. Wow! <laughs> Shaman! Oh, a good start. Wow, he's got a good kick on him. Not when you've got graphics like this. Turn back my playability. I think he's got um, a turd stuck in his trousers. Look, can't get it out of my legs. My nervous then <laughs> I won't make any naughty jokes <laughs> it's a very very good conversion of the um, Genesis Mega Drive um, original uh -oh. he's a better kicker than Ryu Donkey Kong 64. We'll try it when we finish these ports at this time, and if not, come tomorrow and we'll, and we'll do it, mate. Michael Jackson's just collecting kids at the minute. How do I go down the stairs? It's really annoying me. Shamon, how do I go down the stairs? really annoying. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to say that when I get myself into trouble upsetting anyone. I was falling over. He can give a punch, but he can't take one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that side of the game is a little bit outdated, isn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh 
Oh, that was happened. Ha ha, you'll never catch me. It looks like Theresa May. If you don't know who she is, don't worry, it's not worth knowing. Stop hitting me! Ow! Dependent, what's this? Bye, Crazy Carranza, take care. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Remind me of that N64, um, um, Donkey Kong N64, whatever it's called. Donkey Kong 64, we'll, we'll play it. Please remind me. I'm old. I forget things. Stop stabbing me! <clears throat> I love the 90s. The games you could get away with. A game about Michael Jackson rescuing children. with knives are trying to stab him and it's a kid's game. Get away! What the heck was that? A little man. Stop. <sighs> this game... Is graphically quite nice, but playability is a bit, the playability is a bit annoying. You just get trolled in it constantly. You see, you can't dodge them things, no matter how quick you are, and daggers they come out. I dodged it. I proved myself wrong. He can throw his hat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and this is a, this is a um, a trick game. The um, the bad guys are actually the good guys trying to they're like the child protection organisation. They're all the social workers. <laughs> Terrible. They shouldn't get me started. Why am I throwing my hat all of a sudden? Why can't you use Michael Jackson's mobility scooter? That would be much more enjoyable. Run all the enemies over. Well, anyway. It's a graphically nice game with fairly reasonable playability. Not bad. It's a baseline. Genesis and Mega Drive are the identical games, so we'll try the Genesis version. In theory, this will be the upgraded version of the game. Closer to the arcade in, in um, capability. Oh, thank you, I think. Options, is that stupid mode for me to play? Easy. Easiest? No, just easy. Darn it. I can pick my favourite music. Take me in. Oh wow, look at these graphics. It just shows you how advanced 16-bit graphics are. Look at this. Oh, I've got glitter off my shoes. I'm upgraded. Upgrades. <laughs> Don't worry, come with me. What? What was she doing? What was she rough? What was she flying on? I got my glitter shoes. Yeah. Stairs, though. I'm not that advanced to the game yet. Oh, he doesn't, he's not interested now. What's, what's this meant to be? 
Nobody can see me now. Oh, we don't. Oh, that was a bit of, bit of lag there. Must have been pushing the Genesis capabilities. Well, this is um, superior to the Mass System version in every single department, including playability and kid rescuing. Oh yeah, I've got bubbles! Come on, bubbles! Yeah, it was. This was the uh, one of the technical marvels, wasn't it? I'd play just to get bubbles. He's pointing to me. Are you having a laugh, bubbles? Are we saying down? Make your mind up, you idiot. Oh, this is why he got rid of bubbles for. You can't trust him with a simple job. It lags on the stairs. Any more children to rescue now? Get him! This battle it's like it's like Neo fighting all the Agent Smiths in, in Matrix Revolutions. Lester Anderson. Oh, my reward. Michael. Michael. Wow, that was amazing. The nostalgia, right? Here's the the agents, Lester Anderson. Not so bad once you get to know me. I want to start dancing. Michael! Don't know what she's flying off on, I don't Yes. Full of references. Oops. I've got invisible then. Oh. That was incorrect emulation. And what it would have done was flashed. But some emulation gets it wrong and it makes you completely disappear. <laughs> Come on, Michael. Stop dancing. Yeah, I bet the Spectrum version is much better than this. I hope he doesn't try and do a speech. <laughs> My stairs. Wish I could kick like. Glitter will beat your gun. 
There's a lot of um, pinball machines, aren't there, in this game? Oh, I did it. Oh, not this flipping stupid monkey again. Oh, that's good. Ha ha, you'll never catch me. Clearly not. I need some help. I'm invisible. Yeah, the film was very strange. Oh, here's my reward at the end of the level. Here we go. Job done. I don't think I can play this for much longer. It started to drive me insane. I might have to play a different version of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna abandon ship. Wow, that game is wrong on so many levels, isn't it? Let's try the C64 version. This should be the de facto version. A port of all ports. <laughs> yeah, not repetitive. <laughs> Yeah, the film isn't on my list of things. I've, I've kind of watched it in the background and it was very, very disturbing. There was a few moments that were a little bit strange, but to each their own, I guess. What's this saying? Wow. That's quite an impressive graphical effect for a Commodore 64. Well, that's nice. I don't want to read that. Score saver. No, no score savers. Just put the game on, you idiot. Yeah, whatever. I want a stock version of the game, not this. Yeah, we might not be seeing it right now. It's the idiot version again. I don't know what to do. Okay. I've got F1. I wish they would have just put the stock versions of the game on, not all this. Drive me insane. I'll take that away. Maybe there's, there's some more. For now, the Commodore 64 is disqualified for cheating. ZX Spectrum. Now we're on a powerful machine. We'll move on. Shame the Commodore games on here aren't, aren't stock. That's very, very annoying. What the heck is that? What am I looking at? Or do I not want to know? Oh, it's Michael Jackson's legs walk. Whoa, whoa. Why is Michael Jackson in ballet shoes? Now what? What's going on? What? I don't want to do any of this. Loading. Play the tape. Stop the tape. <sighs> this is like Boris Johnson. Go to work. Don't go to work. Press fire to begin. I will. <laughs> Scat, Mark, Karen, Mummy and Daddy. Okay. Moonwalk of the computer game. Triumph. This is a triumph of hardware. And why is it not working though? Oh, don't do this again. How did I used to do all this back in the day? I was very patient. It's done better than the Commodore version, but now I'm, pl I'm, I'm play the tape. Okay, I'll play the t stop the tape. Oh no! Look at that picture of Michael Jackson. 
Dum 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 dum. <laughs> Annie, what the heck am I doing? Annie, what the heck am I doing? I don't have a clue. He's got no weapons. Oh, look at the, the color. There's no demo, no explanation, no tutorial, no, you know, there's nothing to tell you what you're meant to do. You're just a defenseless Michael Jackson walking around with a frog's body for some reason. He looks like a frog. And that picture on the right is a disgrace. There was a lot of rivalry. Yeah, you're right. Yes, monopolized by Nintendo. It's a good job their games are so awesome, otherwise I'd hate on them all the time. Ah, uh, just, um, M. I found an M. <laughs> oh, no, I'm being chased by a steroid man. <laughs> Help! Help! And he ain't okay. This has got the Michael Jackson feeling, hasn't it? It's just there. Incessantly being chased by someone. Unless that's the Child Protection Agency after him. Oh, I think I've lost him. I'm safe. <laughs> it scares me that you know what it is. Wow, I have learned nothing about this game. There's nothing. What a pile of stinking rubbish. <sighs> if I'd have paid £1.99 for this, I would have been gutted. Saloon. Are we in the Wild West? In England, we have salons, is where you get your hair cut. Oh no, Sumo's after me again. He's a suit. What? Oh? I'm leaving this game, I hate it. That was a big stinking pile of doodah. The worst of the worst. Amstrad CPC. Will that powerhouse pull it out of the bag? Is that the paparazzi, a sumo wrestler in a go-kart? We must have different paparazzi over there. Ah, oh, French. Pour une de la pomme de quality ici les, les noms français. I don't know. Ah, that look at those graphics. If this is the same game, I won't be able to hack it for very long. Other than doing a technical power comparison to see if it's higher than the spectrum. Okay, I'm bored now. Listen to the sound effects. Same twinkle to those shoes. Level de depart one. Don't even dare ask me which level I want to play on. Piece of junk. I want to play on level one, my friend. I can't see which one is. Why am I doing that for? It's not three dimensional. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it worked. Moonwalk on the computer game. Idiots only need to apply. I want to begin. I pressed one. Star Firebirds will have a look. Oh god, look at this. That picture of Michael Jackson looks like he's holding his bum. Wonder what he's been doing. This is actually worse graphics than the Spectrum version. Yeah, so does this by the sounds of it. <sighs> shall we shall we move on? This is painful. Even the Michael Jackson on the right picture's got um, problems, he's holding onto his bum trying not to crap everywhere out of stress and whoops there. He's like <laughs> Abandoned ship!
let's conclude with oh the Amiga 1200 wasn't the Amiga 1200 a total powerhouse but this should be like as good as the Mega Drive version if not better I expect great things from this assuming it even blooming works if not we'll try and sneak in that Firebirds game Oh, yeah, we haven't tried MAME yet, have we? Wasn't the MAME a completely different um, game of it? Amiga is disqualified because it hasn't got the decency to load. Or is this just a loading screen? Am I just ignorant? As you can see, um, the Amiga 1200 used floppy disk, much like the early PCs did. And this is not working. I'm out. So, should we have a very quick blast on the MAME and then try that Firebirds game just out of a sense of um, three players? You can have three Michael Jacksons in one game. What we want is a Chuck Norris game, not Michael Jackson. Oh, look at these sprites. Frankenstein. I remember this in the arcades. This was a phenomenal game. What is going on? Is this a secret move, my dear? Very, um, golden axe, eh? Shaman! <laughs> That's very naughty, Parsons. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, look, he's back to his old tricks. I bet he's the one who captured them originally. I'll help you. Jackpot! Thank you, MJ. Oh, here's that blooming monkey again. Whoa! <laughs> you can't hurt me now. Come back! It's criminal. Like my game commentary. right where you are this is like it's complete own unique game as I remembered we'll have a look for both those games if you want I'll get off here in a second because the you know this is um, this is is what it is I suppose free players it's fun isn't it that'll be my last deed for the day trying to find these two games why do their guns fire plasma weapons, like plasma gun things? Come back! Come here! Shh! Wee! -hee. Oh, bubbles! Okay, let's do this, boys! Great sprite work, I'll give them that. Drive that car. Anyway, I'm going to abandon ship. So, what was the two games? So, there was Bosconian, was one, and something Firebirds. What was it? Where are you? I'll have to scroll up.
star firebirds. Okay. So reset filters. Just called firebird or star firebirds. Oh, I remember firebirds. It was like you were a ship, you're fighting loads of ships, and at the end of the level, a great big ship becomes that looks like a firebird. Oh, what have I done? It was firebirds, I'm sure of it. It wasn't Firebirds on the Speccy. What have I done? That's useful when you can't see it. What's happened? What's happened? Star Fibers. I will try again then. Star If it's the game I used to play, we used to have it on cassette. What's happening now? This does not um, feel like a positive um, response. Well, the game I played was called Just Fire. That is this the game? Does that look about right? Then it's can the darn thing be controlled by this? Because I have mixed look on this, um, on Spectrum on this, so I don't know how to customize the controls. Guess we can only find out. Great kid, don't get cocky. I can't control. Um, you'll have to customize the controls because I don't seem able to do that. The controls don't work on this. Um, so you, if you buy one of these consoles, mate, you'll have this game, but you'll have to learn to calibrate the controls. And when you figure out how to do it, can you tell me, please? Because <laughs> I have no idea. I've got no control. Um, they sell it on the cheapest is about is probably AliExpress. It's called the Super Console X. They sell it on Wish, but it's more expensive. They sell it on Amazon and eBay, but it's more expensive. The cheapest is AliExpress, but you have to wait about two weeks to get the darn thing, if not longer. I got it for about forty pound. It was the the one hundred and twenty eight gigabyte version. I didn't have the wireless controllers. I chose to get the Super Nintendo controllers because the wireless controllers are universally been panned. But I was lucky enough to have a Rock Candy PlayStation 3 controller of my own. But you don't connect it with Bluetooth. You have to have a USB 2.4 gigahertz adapter thing with your controller. I think you know what sort of mean, don't you? I tried the PlayStation 3 with a wire and I had no luck. So I think all USB corded controllers will work. And it's up to five. It's up to five players. Depend on the game. And thank you. It comes with a little USB hub for the five-player mode for certain arcade games and stuff. So really, it's a it's everything you need in one package. And the tweaking is minor. It's just you. It just seems to be Atari ST and Spectrum that needs a bit of love. It has your game, but sadly I can't play it. You'll you'll figure it out. You're clever. 
think you press on what I do is I press down the two thumbsticks and I get this and this has got control options but I just don't get how to do it you see that controls but I just don't get it so I'm not even down you can do you can do remapping and stuff so yes it works but it just needs a bit of love um, I can try I can see if I can do a Sinclair spectrum thing select controls um, I'll try I'll try Kempston if not Nope, nothing with Kempston. Interface 2. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I've got some control. I've done it! It doesn't seem to scroll though, it just seems to go left or right. Is that how it works? Does it stay just down here or is he supposed to go all up the screen? If he stays just down here, then I've done it. Hello Max Parsons, how you doing? Is this right, mate? It's a small world. This is me controlling it, by the way. Assuming I've done it correctly. This is a good game. I've done it. A small victory in making Spectrums work. This is Gallagher for people who had the cheapest home computer in the world. Awesome, we've done it. This means, mate, out of the box, you can play your favourite game. All you got to do is set it to other interface rather than Kempston. You're playing it. So out of the box, this works. So you've had your cake and you've had it. Very colourful for a Spectrum game. I'm impressed. Yes. It's um, not a bad little game. Give me finger eight though, which does an auto fire. There's not, sadly. Can't make me happy, can ya? Because I've got repetitive strain in my fingers. Clicker fonds are not much use to me. This game, this um, console can also save states like most retro machines can. So if you're playing a game and you want to pick up where you left, you can save the state. Yes, a specy is a, um, a viable piece of computing history. It was my childhood. It was all we could afford, being a lower class family. But I never felt like we were roughing it out. I felt we, I felt like we were having a premium experience, especially with going to the market outside the local W. H. Smith's um, shop and buying pocket money level games for a pound, or pirating games, which was a lot of fun as well. Recording over my dad's music cassettes. He didn't mind much. If I made a games console, I'd be badass. I'd have a games console that you have the games are on records. Vinyl, you know, vinyl games console. Playing it off a vinyl would be fantastic. Well, success. What was your game, Bosconian? Reset filters. And then I will shoot off after after we've got Bosconian working, assuming it's even here. They've overstayed my welcome. Boss. We can have a good go next time. If, have a little look now and have a proper go next time if it's that sort of game. I've no doubt know the game once I see it. Bosconian, hopefully I've spelt it right.
What port? What console is this for? I can't. Oh, it's a Spectrum port of Bosconian. Is there any more ports? This is the the Specky port of Bosconian. That's what we've got on here. I don't know if that um, on is it for you at all. Free. See if it works on. Press Enter to start. I'm going where no man has gone before. God, this is hard to control, but I'm controlling it. A Spectrum game I'm controlling twice in one lifetime. It's like asteroids for sick, sick people. Ugh. Pac Man. Hey, Crazy Carranza. Just nothing like the arcade then. Crazy Carranza, I'm gonna go in a second, but I've done I've done well over an hour. I'll tell you what, mate, we'll do a Pac-Man Battle of the Ports tomorrow if you come along at four o'clock. Namco Museum for the PlayStation. One second, have I got that? I'm still here. I was just wondering if I had it physically out of interest. Namco Museum. Is that Namco Museum? Going in on it. I've got it, mate. But I've got it. I've got it in reality. <laughs> but have I got it on um, on this actual machine rather than just in reality? Because obviously, reality is of no use. I'm going to go in a second. Yeah, Crazy Carranza. If you, could, if you come back tomorrow, mate, we'll do we'll do um, a Pac-Man Battle of the Ports. But I'll only do it if you're here, because it's for your benefit. So if you can make it tomorrow at 4 o'clock, I will happily... I will do. I'll play it. I'll play um, Namco Museum. I'm hoping it's on here, though, because it would be a lot easier than trying to plug my PlayStation 1 into this thing. Um, what am I doing? I'm being naughty today and staying too long. For a look. Come on, Alphabet, don't fail me now. Oh, 1N. It's not on here. Um, I tell you what, Cauldron. I will either try and add the ROM to this console. I've never added ROMs before, but it can be done. Um, or I will attempt to hook up my original PlayStation 1 to my capture card, because I've got a um, RetroTink 2X, so in theory, I can plug it straight into my capture card, and then into my TV, and into my laptop, and it should work, and that will look beautiful, because that will be a 480p um, perfect upscale um, without any um, bad quality, you know, without being bad quality or it looking too sharp, it should look almost exactly the same as what it would in the arcades. But that's not going to be tomorrow because that involves me unplugging things and messing about. But I, although I've got a Rad 2X, I might be able to plug my Rad 2X because I've got um, I own about four PlayStation ones, so I should be able to get one hooked up to it. Yeah, I've got a PlayStation one just down here hooked up to my CRT, so I might do that. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna go now anyway, crazy. Um, but I'll, I will I will play if you come tomorrow at four o'clock or just after four. I will put I'll do Battle of the Ports of Pac Man and then we'll see about Crash afterwards if there's time. Because I think Pac Man will take up some time. But yeah, come along because I won't do it without you. It's for, it's for you. So 
I will try it. But I'll play it on my CR2 when I'm on my own. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you everybody for watching this stream. It's been awesome, fun as usual. We'll, we'll do, if, say, if Crazy Caranza can make, make it tomorrow, we'll start off with some Pac-Man for him, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, I think that's fair, because it's nice that everybody gets to see the games they want, and everybody gets a bit gets taken care of then. Well, we'll, one way or another, we will get that, that Bosconian game on here, one way or another. If my Rad 2X can play nicely with my capture card, it isn't a big deal because I've got a PlayStation 1 about three foot away from me that's plugged in. So it shouldn't be a big deal if it'll play nicely with the capture card. Then I'll be playing off original hardware, none of this emulation business, which is even better. But I am going to go now because I'm 16, 17 minutes late. Yes. It's good to have things to look forward to for the next day, and it's nice to have lots to look forward to, but if we did it all at once, we'd have nothing to enjoy tomorrow, would we? Yep. You take care too. Everybody take care. Thank you very much to all of you. It's been awesome. Back tomorrow, usual time, 4 o'clock. I'll, I'll try and be a good boy tomorrow and not stay too late. Um, but I suppose it, it means we're all having fun, aren't we? Cheers. Um, this is Retrovid signing off, and anybody who's watching this later when it's a video, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment, it's much appreciated. And um, with that said, I'm going to go now. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye, guys.